All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, Beachmaster DIY pulse induction metal detector. Right now, we are going to look at sample pulses. Okay, if you look at the uh, the board here, you can see I have channel one and channel two probes hooked up. We are on test point nine on channel one and test point two on channel two. I will give you a shot of the oscilloscope. Okay guys, on the screen here, channel one in yellow, this is the main sample pulse. Down here in uh, purple, we have channel two and that's the EFE pulse. Right now, we're showing the measurement of the EFV pulse, approximately 50 microseconds. You can adjust that with RV number four. I've already done that. And if you want to adjust the main sample pulse, that's RV number two. So let's switch over to channel one. You can see here. approximately 50 microseconds and those both been adjusted I think I was down around 30 and maybe 35 and change respectively and those were adjusted very easily with those two trimmer pots on to the next all right so we looked at the main sample pulse and the EFE pulse now we are going to look at the sample delay okay so we need to change our probes around you see here is my probe one channel one and that is on test point four which is the flyback pulse that's the uh, signal from the, the preamp okay up here on channel two we are on test point nine and that is the sample pulse so we're going to adjust those with our pot number three in order to uh, tighten it up a little bit and get a better signal and I'll show you that on the oscilloscope next okay guys here we are here I'll put the preamp channel one and this is our sample right so we want to adjust potentiometer number three I can do this and tighten it up until right about there it doesn't do any good to start your sample while you're still in saturation you want to get it closer to right about here to start your sample.